Hello, my brothers and sisters. It's Laura Brockway here in my war room. I'm going to talk to you today about forgiveness, about forgiving each other. We had an entire year, a jubilee year of mercy last year, where we spent the entire year begging God to forgive us and to forgive everyone we love. And I just wonder, but have we forgiven each other? Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. If we want God to forgive us, we must forgive each other. It would be a real shame to be turned away from heaven for something someone else did just because we could not forgive it. We couldn't forgive them for it. And I know many of you are saying, oh, but Laura, you don't understand. What happened to me is unbearable, unthinkable, unforgivable. I'm so sorry that you have been hurt in such a way that you don't feel you can forgive the person. We still need to forgive them. We must. We have all had terrible, unbearable things happen to us in this treacherous mortal life. It's very, very difficult. Life is hard. We have all been hurt. And we must find it in ourselves to forgive each other. We must. We do it for us. We don't do it necessarily for the other person. You don't even have to tell the person that you're forgiving them. They don't have to be sorry. We hope they are. But if you're in a situation where the person is not sorry and you just can't talk to the person, don't even tell them. Just forgive them for you. That's enough. You don't have to make up with them or necessarily even ever speak to them again. But in your own heart, you have to let go. I have a few suggestions and things that have helped me to forgive unforgivable things that have happened to me. One of them is invoking saints who can help with this. Today is St. Maria Goretti's birthday, October 16th. So it's a perfect day for this. She is a perfect saint to invoke if you need help forgiving or letting go of something that's hardened in your heart. Also, her killer is a blessed, blessed Alessandro Serenelli. She was 11 years old when he attempted to rape her and he stabbed her many, many times. She forgave him before she died. And she was incredibly concerned for his soul. She wasn't even concerned so much for her own safety as she was concerned that he would go to hell for eternity if he raped her. So it is a, it's a beautiful story of forgiveness. He spent 30 years in prison for murdering Maria Goretti. And when he got out of prison, he went to her home to ask her family for forgiveness. And all of her family except her mother had died during that 30 years. Her mother was all alone with no family. So not only did she forgive Alessandro, she took him into her home as her own child. I know this is a very extreme case. It would be very difficult for most of us to do that. But invoking the blessed Alessandro, he needs two miracles to become a saint himself. He's just waiting to be invoked. Not only was he forgiven, he was able to forgive himself for a horrendous crime. So he has a lot to teach us, as does St. Maria Goretti. So those are two that I love to invoke when I, my heart is feeling hard and I, I feel like I just can't let go of something. Another way that I have used that's very successful is fasting. When we fast, we purge all the negativity and all the feelings that are not of God. They are of this world. They are the hurts from this world. They are 
they are the feelings from this world and really from the evil one. Anything that's not of God is from the evil one. So anger, hurt, resentment, all of those things, that's the evil one tricking us. God is pure love. He forgives us even for our unforgivable crimes against him. We need to forgive each other. We need to work really hard at this. It's, as I said, it would be a real shame to be turned away from heaven for something someone else did just because we couldn't forgive them. So I hope that, that you will work on this. I'm still working on it. It's a process. Forgiving is a process. So sometimes there's setbacks, but we have to try. I think what God is looking for is just for a willing heart. Are you willing to try to forgive? It's the intention in the heart that God sees. So let's all try to forgive each other. On St. Maria Goretti's birthday, let's give her a great happy birthday by saying, Thank you, St. Maria Goretti. Please pray for us and help us to obtain the graces that we need to forgive everyone who has hurt us, just as you did in your very young, short life. St. Maria Goretti, pray for us. Bless Alessandro Serenelli. Pray for us. Jesus, grant us the graces we ask for. Amen. I love you all, my brothers and sisters. Let's do this forgiveness thing together. We can do it.